Welcome to the Landscape Library's YouTube channel. I'm Jordan, founder of the Landscape Library and voice behind the tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and visit our website, thelandscapelibrary.com, to read landscape-focused articles or enroll in our online courses teaching the top softwares for landscape design. If you have questions or comments, add them below and enjoy the video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the mirror command in Rhino. And the mirror command is really nice in Rhino when you're dealing with symmetrical designs. So for instance, if we were to use the circle command and pretend that these are um, maybe trees that are lined up along a pathway, we can easily mirror this pathway. We're going to offset this pathway by four feet. And let's say that we wanted to have the same amount of distance from this tree trunk to the center of this uh, walkway. So we could type in the command mirror and it's going to ask um, select objects to mirror. We can select all three trees and we can use uh, the midpoint of this, the center line of this pathway to mirror the tree. Now you can see that because I don't have O snap turned on, uh, that's because I can kind of adjust however I want, but if I hit shift, It'll lock it into place, or I could go down here and select ortho mode. Now, the second point that I want to mention is it's asking for the ed end point of the mirror plane. So I have to then click the end point, and you can actually tell Rhino to not copy this or to copy this. I typically like to copy it since since I'm always going to be like mirroring a same object. So if you want to turn off the copy, you just simply type in C and it'll turn off the copy. So to do, to finish this command, I'm holding shift and then I'll left click to complete the command. And this can go for uh, any objects, square, um, let's say maybe these were uh, a pillar along the walkway as well. Let's copy the walkway. Maybe these are two pillars that we want to copy and we can have them as sort of like an entrance way to um, this walkway and the distance is the same. We could double check. Uh, we could see that it's 18.8 inches and even on this side it's 18.8 inches. Um, you don't always have to use the mirror command with ortho mode. For example, if we wanted to mirror um, an object, maybe this is a bed line, it could be on any angle. You could see here that um, if I were to maybe do a 45 degree angle it will also mirror uh, on that specific angle as well. So if the path if the pathway was on an angle, you can mirror that uh, along the pathway as well. 